Well, that seed fettled old girl. Aye, they reckoned you were finished. Said you pressed your last truss. But thee and me, lass, will turn a pretty penny yet. So, firstborn son of mine, this is your new mistress, is it? You've thrown away one harlot to go whoring after the scarlet woman of profit. Aye, the whore whose name is greed, misery, and the exploitation of man by man. Don't you see, Mother, I'm gonna fight my way up from the gutter. There's never an honest working class lad climbs out of that gutter, but that he treads on the prostrate forms, aye, and the prostrate glands of his hapless comrades. Are we to lie in the gutter forever, then? You have sold your soul, lad. You've renounced your birthright. You'll never wear this cap again. This cap of Kirad is what my dad got off him. It's a wound to my heart that you're not a fit man to wear it. But, but what am I to do if it comes on to rain? Nay, nay, don't tell me, don't tell me. Here, it's what I earn from a day's toil on the pea pods. Put it towards your first top hat. <clears throat> Beauty, be still, damn you, black-hearted beast. His blood's high today, Father. He killed another stable boy this morning. Oh, that's lucky. They draw their wages this afternoon. Not that I begrudge what he cost me. He'll win the national yet. I've never yet known him refuse a jump. Ah, you and he are well matched. I've news for thee, lass. Lord Mountfast and myself have agreed on a settlement. So soon, Father. But I haven't even met him yet. Not that it matters. He's seen thee, lass. That's what matters. And is eager to take possession. You seen me? Where? Last month's point to point at Bishop's Tippings. I may have misunderstood him. We were in a Turkish bath in German Street at the time. But I gather he admired your seat. I take it the settlement is mutually agreeable, Father. Oh, alas, you'll have no complaint of there. You'll take an handsome dowry with you, and Mountfast himself will be joining the board. There's a small price to pay for the earldom. I don't begrudge a penny your advancement costs me. Whether it's a king's ransom to mount fast or a mere bagatelle to buy off that fair child whelp. <laughs> so that's what happened. No wonder his ardour waned. You bought him off. He came to the door like a common peddler. You were the only goods on his tray. So, he sold me. What was I worth to him? No. Don't tell me. Less than a year's feed and tack for brass beauty, but to him, <laughs> fortune. I hope he thrives on it. You're riding, are you, Father? Eh? No, it's my afternoon at the home for wayward girls. I'm interviewing the new arrivals.